uh, about this like, next one. Yeah, Dory Avis is going to be coming up uh, against Kid Digital. So it's going to be Scarlet Three, versus the one, Collector. Fight. Now, th this is interesting because early on in the game, when uh, Collector was announced, a lot of people thought he was going to be very zone heavy. But in reality, he seems a lot more based around pressure. He does still have kind of a solid mid game, but uh, you know, it's really more about getting in people's face. Whereas Scarlet has a really, really strong mid range and far range. Uh, so Kid Digital is going to have to work really hard to try and get in. Yeah, this is definitely a little Kane and Abel, right? A little David and Goliath as far as playstyles go. Very different, very different focuses. Scarlet not super great up close. But I'm really excited to see Dory Avis play. Dory Avis Dawn is, a, is another player after my own heart. He likes to play a little bit of every game, and he's competitive in all of them. Oh, yeah, it is amazing, especially, you know, putting a lot of his time into cross tag. He has been moving around into MK with his Scarlet and putting in so much work with it. Absolutely. Scarlet, I think, a character that is not easy to play, to, to be super effective with. I think she requires a lot of strong fundamental knowledge and, you know, good zoning and stuff like that. And yeah. Dory Ava's already showing a, a pretty good mastery of how to handle the neutral game here. I mean, yeah, it's a hard balance, and you really have to work on your spacing, because she has great range, but a lot of her moves are relatively unsafe and slow to come out. So you have to be able to gauge that distance. You have to be able to keep an eye on what your opponent's doing to really get the most out of it. Very strategic character. She gets a little bit of that life back. Very galaxy brain. All right. Ooh, good block. Look Ooh. at the patience from Dory Avis. Nice launch. Finish him. Finish him. Wow. Snap. Yeah, we Kid, have no patience. Kid Digital trying to catch him off guard, canceling. I believe that is his back three into the Bolas, but uh, not quite going to work out for him. Gets caught for going for a minus strength so close to home. Yeah, Doryavis has got, I've seen two flawless blocks now. I'd like to see a launch off one of them. Okay, Doryavis just taking his turn. Good Ooh. stuff. Good flawless block from Kid Digital. Oh, Teleport going to catch him off guard trying to punish the delay in the string. I think Doryavis has done a really good job looking for the teleports, but Collector is one of those characters that can teleport further away. Yeah, and that's tripped up Doryavis a little bit. Another flawless block on the big leg. Right, there we go. Down here. Ooh, that was nearly a whiff punish, just a little slow. All right, that said, Volas coming through, and Kid Digital is going to set up shop here in the corner. Excellent forward throw there, catching him off guard. It's so hard to tell when it, when it's you're supposed to take your turn. Yeah, especially since all of his moves kind of blend together. It's yeah. just four arms flailing. Yeah, just the guy kind of ducking and jiving and spinning around and swinging shotels and scimitars. That, that said, the throw's coming in clutch for Kid Digital, able to take a round here. Round two, fight. Yeah, Kid Digital coming back a little bit. Some of this oppressive pressure. Ooh, Dora Avis kind of swinging for the fences a little bit, finding his way out of the corner. Ooh, and he is going to get punished out of it there. <gasps> Yikes, yeah, just barely out of range for that one. Oh, excellent. This time, Dora Avis had the read. He said, you know what, you've been teleporting far away into the big leg. I got your number this time. Walking away, big whiff punish. And this is exactly what we need to see from Dory Avis here is, uh, you know, Kid Digital has a very linear approach options with his collector. That's why we've been seeing him go for these teleports quite a bit. So if Dory Avis can just play careful, he's able to stuff out a lot of these options. And that's what we're seeing. <gasps> oh, I love the idea from Dory Avis, but that shuttle reaching a little further than he expected. Oh, another F throw. Wow, the impression. Yeah, he's just catching him off guard with these. <gasps> Oh, yeah, Doryavis is now being trained a little bit to wait to see the end of those limbs. Oh, but he is going to get caught by the teleport coming through. Yeah, Kid Digital looking strong with that teleport. That teleport doing a lot of work. Big time. I mean, yeah, it's one of the strongest counter options to a character like Scarlet that just likes to keep you out and try to zone, especially collectors where he'll be able to act out of it with what he wants. <gasps> Big whiff punish out of the gate, Dory Avis. And into the restand, no less, for some additional damage. Nice stuff. All right, he says another one coming through. Oh, but an excellent down two punish on the whiff grab. Yeah, reading at a 12th grade level there. Oh, snap. OK. <gasps> All right, little post coming through. So tricky. Big damage. So tricky. Big time. OK. Getting some of that health back. All right, the back throw trying to get him into the corner here. Still keeping his distance, though. Very smart. Uh, going to get flipped around, though, by Kid Digital. Yeah, Dory Avis trying to hold on to his life lead here. And a couple more 
Oh, Ooh. that was so smart. So Kid Digital recognizing that Doravis really wants to punish his teleport is now playing a lot more patient and waiting for him to whiff. Yeah, and sometimes that's the name of the game, right? If you have a strategic game, game plan, sometimes it's not about trying to win the next exchange. Sometimes it's just about gauging your opponent, what they want to do. And this time, Kid Digital teleporting right in Doravis' face. And just making opportunities for himself. That said, another whiff coming through, and Dory Avis going to take full advantage of it on Kid Digital. Yeah, teleport really looking like the name of the game here. A lot of uh, a lot of these neutral situations really boiling down to the teleport. I mean, yeah, it, it makes sense. Uh, Collector does have projectiles, but a lot of them are really, really slow. So teleport is his best bet of getting in and getting the pressure that he wants. Spending the meter, both both players spending the meter. Dory Avis really trying to maximize the damage. Kid Digital saying no, and here we go, Doravis with the corner of pressure. Oh my lord! That was such a smart short hop there, trying to bait him into thinking it was the overhead going immediately <gasps> to the low, getting additional poke. Okay, fatal blow. That's dead. All right, Kid Digital gonna move forward into loser's finals. Very smart stuff there. Not breaking under pressure. Gonna take another round, and we still got one more. Uh, you're getting ahead of yourself there. Uh, loser semis? Oh, you're right. Yeah, we still oh, got you're right. We still more. got another round. Yeah. Still got another round. This one's for all the marbles. This one's for all the marbles. Okay. I feel like when I see a fatal blow, I just watch the fatality <laughs> most times. Understandable. Yeah, Dory Avis this time doing a good job of spacing, shimmying out the uh, whip there from Kid Digital and punishing accordingly. I like that. He set up the Bolas and then teleported so that he could put Dory Avis in the corner rather than proceeding with the combo immediately. Yeah, and taking Dory Avis all the way to the corner too. That is so tricky. But down three into canceling into the bad boy. Ooh, you really have to there. know. You just really... Oh, Dory Avis with the punish. Beautiful. Yeah, man, just getting good at guessing. Kick's coming through. <gasps> Tries to catch him with the overhead, but the delayed wake-up coming through from Kid Digital. <gasps> the Rave is really swinging here. Oh, and that's going to be it. Excellent catch there on the teleport. You know, uh, Kid Digital was doing an amazing job. Just got a little bit too greedy with those teleports, and he ate it. Yep, a little bit, a little bit. Commentator's curse.